So we're in the kitchen here. I've got Harry who lives on the farm and we've got his fantastic beef and I wanted to show him a great way to cook a really nice roast dinner. So I've got a non-stick frying pan here. It's getting nice and hot and like a medium heat, yeah? No oil in there or anything. So while that's getting nice and hot, we'll put the beef on. So, a couple of tablespoons of oil. Try and drizzle it all over. Okay, and then if you take half the herbs that we chopped, so that's rosemary and thyme, and just sprinkle it all over. And then, whenever I'm cooking beef, plenty of salt and pepper. Because it's a slow cook, we want that big foundation of flavour and want robust flavours. And then on with the pepper, plenty of black pepper. Not that all right? Yep, that'll do for that side. So what we're going to do is transfer the beef into the pan, skin side down, just kind of lower it in. And now the key is now, don't touch it until right. it gets really, really nice and golden. But what we can do is season this side. We're going to season all sides of the beef. So what you did there with the salt and pepper, you do that again, that'll be great. And what you can do is just have a little look. You see it's just starting to cook there, but that wants a few more minutes on there until it gets a really nice, crisp, golden skin. So if you just have a little turn it over and just keep looking, see that to me, that's looking nice and golden and crisp. So we'll turn it over, we'll do the same on that side, and usually what you can do is when you've got the top and the bottom, so when you turn it on its end, see that little gap there? If you could just put a little bit of seasoning in there, that means we'll get some seasoning right in the middle of the dish as well. And then the same with the pepper. We'll pop that back down and then we can lift that into the pan that we're going to cook it in the oven. But you see all these little bits here? All these bits, that's all flavour there, so you don't want to throw that out. So if you add all the vegetables into the pan, pour them away from yourself, then there's no chance of you splashing them, and we'll get those all cooking, we'll get some colour on those. Give them a little shake around, get them all level in the pan, and then they all start to cook evenly. And then we've got some red wine. Now, whenever you add liquid, to a pan that we cook meat in. What it'll do is it'll kind of suck all the flavour off the pan into the wine, and then we can add all that into the dish there, and you get a maximum amount of flavour there. Get it all going, and then we'll just pour that in with the beef there. All these flavours will marry together over the three hours while they're in the oven. The remaining herbs, if you just scatter those around, and then I've got some beef stock, and just pour that over the dish. Again, that's just going to reinforce all the flavours there. Because we've roasted the top of it, this will create steam and then it'll kind of baste. And then we've got the little dried mushrooms here. And what you want to do is put them on, but then make sure they're in the liquid and they start to soak right. up all that flavour. We're going to pop a lid on it, or you can put some foil over. So we put the beef into a preheated oven, 160 degrees. That's going to cook for three hours till it's really nice and tender, totally cooked through, and it'll taste fantastic. That's really easy then. Just pop it onto this chopping board here, and then we can carefully unwrap it. There we go. Look at that. Just have a smell of that. It smells fantastic. Really good. So if we carefully lift the beef out, and then we're going to pop that on there, and we're just going to let that rest, because when it's had sort of three hours in the oven, it like gets really tense as it cooks, and it just needs to relax, and then it'll make it even more tender. And then we've got all these really nice vegetables and these mushrooms here. We don't want to waste those. So I've got a slotted spoon and just pour those around the beef. And then if you could just bring that pan onto that hob there. And what we can do is once I've got all these vegetables out, we can pour that liquid into the pan and we'll just reduce it down a little bit and that'll make it just slightly thicker and it'll sort of intensify the flavour a little bit. So making you hungry this smell. Yes, I'm looking forward to eating it. Smells really good, really good. And what we'll do is we'll just pour this into the pan. Really hot this, so just be nice and careful. Pour that in. Okay, put this to one side. And then we'll turn the hob on, and then we're just going to let that reduce down just for a few minutes. While that's going on, we can get the carrots on and the broccoli, get the potatoes out. And then also, with this foil, we can just cover this beef and it'll happily just sit there and rest for about 10 minutes. It'll be okay. fine. There you go, a fantastic way to cook great cut of beef. Thanks, Thank Steve. You.